other paint programs don't have the same capabilities as Photoshop. It can be confusing and difficult to work with iRacing grayscale spec maps. One solution is to use RGB spec maps. Other paint programs work correctly and easily with RGB spec maps. For example, YouTube GIMP spec map tutorials invariably use RGB for spec maps. RGB spec maps are more visual, making it somewhat easier to understand what specular effects have been defined. You can define your own RGB spec map from scratch. However, the iRacing spec maps are always a good starting point for a custom spec map. The parts layers typically have useful specular definitions. The problem is, how do we convert an iRacing grayscale spec map to RGB? It's not obvious how to do this, especially if you are not an expert using painting software. This tutorial will take you through the steps to achieve this conversion. If you save the converted RGB spec map, you will only need to perform this procedure once per car. Let's walk through the steps to convert an iRacing spec map from grayscale to RGB. We are looking at the GIMP paint program. We have opened the iRacing car template for the Legends Ford, 34C. The first thing we need to do is make the custom spec map visible. And hide the other layers as we will not be using them during this procedure. Look at the layers panel on the lower right side of the screen. Clicking on the colored layer boxes hides or shows the layer. When the eye is visible the layer is visible, and vice versa. Click on the blue layer box, the paintable area will no longer be visible. Click on the red layer box and finally the green layer box. Now we can see the eye racing custom spec map. Immediately you can see one of the disadvantages of a grayscale spec map. Visually, we can't see what is metallic versus roughness, it's all black and white. In fact, at present, we can only see the metallic definition. Let's expand the custom spec map layer. Click on the plus icon beside the layer name. Turn off the red channel metallic by clicking on the green box. Now you can see the roughness definition. Turn off the green channel roughness by clicking on the green box. Now you can see the blue layer. It's fully white which is confusing, in grayscale this means solid blue. Let's convert the blue layer to RGB, as it's the easiest step to achieve. We need to change the foreground color. At the top left click on the white box. The change foreground color dialog will appear. Change the red value to 0. Change the green value to 0. The blue value should be 100. Click OK. Now the foreground color is blue. In the layers panel, click on the white box of the blue channel to select it. Right mouse click over the white box, click new layer. Type blue into the layer name. Ensure the option fill with, is set to foreground color. Click OK. Now we have a solid blue layer. Importantly, the layer is at the same indentation level as the original blue layer. Click on the white box of the original blue layer to select it. Use the right mouse button, select the option delete layer. Now hide the blue layer by clicking on the eye. Let's convert the green roughness layer to RGB. First, we need to change our foreground color to green. At the top left, click on the blue foreground color box. The red value should be 0. Change the green value to 100. Change the blue value to 0. Click OK. Now the foreground color is green. In the layers panel, click on the green box of the green channel roughness layer to make it visible. Click on the eye of the parts layer under the green channel group to hide it. We are going to use the channel functionality. It is important to note, the channel functionality is not specific to a layer. When looking at channels we are working with everything that is visible. Right now only the green base paint layer is visible. Click on the channels tab. Click on the green channel to select it. Use the right mouse button over the green channel. Select the channel to selection option. Now click the layers tab. Click on the base paint layer of the green channel to select it. Right mouse button over the base paint layer, select the new layer option. Type base into the layer name. 
ensure the option fill width, is set to foreground color. Click OK. Now we have a solid green layer. Right mouse button over our new solid green base layer, select the add layer mask option. We need to initialize the layer mask to selection, ensure that option is selected. Ensure invert mask is not checked. Click add. Right mouse button over our green base layer, select the apply layer mask option. We now have a dull green layer. This applies a very small amount of roughness to the car surface, which is normal for paint. When defining metallic and chrome paints we would reduce or eliminate this roughness to make the surface very smooth. Right mouse button over the original base paint layer, select the delete layer option. Click on the eye of our new base layer to hide it. Click on the green box of the parts layer to make it visible. Click on the channel tab. Right mouse button over the alpha channel, select the channel to selection option. Right mouse button over the green channel, select the subtract from selection option. Click on the layers tab. Right mouse button over the parts layer, select the new layer option. Type parts into the layer name. Ensure the option fill width, is set to foreground color. Click OK. Now we have a solid green layer. Right mouse button over this new green parts layer, select the add layer mask option. We need to initialize the layer mask to selection, ensure that option is selected. Ensure invert mask is not checked. Click add. Right mouse button over our green parts layer, select the apply layer mask option. Right mouse button over the original parts layer, select the delete layer option. Click on the green channel roughness group layer to select it. Change the layer mode to addition. Click on the green box of the base layer to make it visible. You can now visually see the specular roughness definition. The green roughness layer has now been converted from grayscale to shades of green. Click on the eye of the green channel roughness group to hide it. Let's convert the red metallic layer to RGB. First, we need to change our foreground color to red. At the top left, click on the green foreground color box. Change the red value to 100. Change the green value to 0. The blue value should be 0. Click OK. Now the foreground color is red. In the layers panel, click on the green box of the red channel metallic layer to make it visible. Click on the eye of the parts layer under the red channel group to hide it. We are going to use the channel functionality again. Remember, the channel functionality is not specific to a layer. When looking at channels we are working with everything that is visible. Right now only the red base paint layer is visible. Click on the channels tab. Use the right mouse button over the red channel, select the channel to selection option. Now click the layers tab. Click on the base paint layer of the red channel to select it. Right mouse button over the base paint layer, select the new layer option. Type base into the layer name. Ensure the option fill width, is set to foreground color. Click OK. Now we have a solid red layer. Right mouse button over our new solid red base layer, select the add layer mask option. We need to initialize the layer mask to selection, Ensure that option is selected. Ensure invert mask is not checked. Click add. We now have a blank layer. This is common within the red metallic layer, it means no shininess or metallic effect. When defining metallic and chrome paints we would add layers above this base layer with varying levels of red in the specific areas we want to be shiny or metallic. Right mouse button over the original base paint layer, select the delete layer option. Click on the eye of our new base layer to hide it. Click on the green box of the parts layer to make it visible. Click on the channel tab. Right mouse button over the alpha channel, select the channel to selection option. Click on the layers tab. Right mouse button over the parts layer, select the new layer option. Type parts into the layer name. Ensure the option fill width, is set to foreground color. Click OK. Now we have a solid red layer. Right mouse button over this new red parts layer, 
select the Add Layer Mask option. We need to initialize the layer mask to selection, ensure that option is selected. Ensure Invert Mask is not checked. Click Add. Right mouse button over our red parts layer, select the Apply Layer Mask option. Right mouse button over the original parts layer, select the Delete Layer option. Click on the red channel metallic group layer to select it. Change the layer mode to Addition. Click on the green box of the red base layer to make it visible. You can now visually see the specular shininess definition. The red metallic layer has now been converted from grayscale to shades of red. Click on the Select menu at the top. Select the None option. Make all layers under the custom spec map group visible. I like to rename the custom spec map group to RGB spec map. Save the project. The spec map can now be exported in TGA format. That procedure is explained within another video in this playlist.